In this video, you will learn how to cross your placement like a pro. Greetings, I, the War Owl, greets you. War Owl's golden rule of crosshair placement in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Always keep your crosshair at head level where an enemy might be. Just following this one simple rule will greatly improve your Counter-Strike skills. It seems simple when you read it. It seems like common sense, but let's go into a little bit more detail about how to do this. Because the vast majority of players neither follow the rule nor actively think about their crosshair placement. Crosshair placement is where you place your crosshair. In Counter-Strike, most of the game is setting yourself up for an easier engagement. Never engage in a fair fight. Always try to get the upper hand. A major part of this is your crosshair positioning. The idea is to give yourself an easier shot when you finally do engage an enemy. The least amount of space you need to move your crosshair, the faster and easier you're going to get an accurate shot. The vertical aspect of shooting tends to throw people off far more than the horizontal. How we move our hands across the mouse pad favors horizontal movement. So setting up the vertical element of our aim beforehand is critical. This is the keep your crosshair at head level part of our mantra. So how do you know where head level is without a reference? This is something that's gained over experience playing the game. When you hold certain angles or peak certain angles and there's an enemy there, you'll immediately know how high or low you were in comparison to the enemy. You need to visualize the player height and gain an understanding of how tall a player is going to be. Just actively attempting to place your crosshair at head level will help you gain this spatial intelligence. The next part of our mantra is where an enemy might be. Might be seems rather subjective, but in reality, it's a skill that you can learn. It's what we call game sense, knowing the timings, the positionings, your enemy behavior patterns, listening to teammates' callouts, checking radar. All of this is used to constantly, actively predict where enemies might be. So let's show an in-game example of crosshair placement instead of Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Let's say I want to clear banana, so I'm the banana player. My crosshair is already there, guys. It's already there. So notice, it is directly on car through the wall because that is the first place a player can be based on the timings as I'm running out here. Is right there. Sometimes there's an opera. Even if I just run by, I always got my crosshair there just in case. Constantly keep it at head level where a player might be. And as I walk up here on banana, normally you want to avoid like flashes and, and pre-nades that come down here. But this is besides the point we're talking about crosshair I'm constantly looking directly at head level where a player might be if he pushes me. No matter what's going on, if I'm talking to my team, if I'm um, just walking up here casually, thinking about other things, always have my crosshair placement, head level where an enemy is might be. And right now, where they could be is here or here. So I'm constantly like that. Notice, just instinctively, I look directly at car in the next position. Now, as I clear this little spot, instead of looking directly at car and just being like, pop, sometimes a player could be there, right? So I look like that, and I kind of, I kind of sweep it like this. Makes it a little bit easier. And then constantly keep sweeping this area. Normally when I'm here, I like to spray through this uh, this wooden plank just in case there's a player hiding there, which I've had happen to me a few times. Somebody, some opera has been just chilling behind this plank and it's kind of like, all right, let's wait. Wait till they get in position. Wait till they clear it. And then pop. Because what, his, what he's thinking about is my crosshair placement. He's thinking, okay, he's cleared that. Now I can pop and shoot him and I won't just instantly die as soon as I peek out. Let's talk about something that have a very common mistake I see in crosshair placement from newer players is having your crosshair kind of like this at the ground. So let's say I'm just playing banana like this and I don't want people to push and that's my job. I'm playing banana. I'm not pushing up there. I'm just playing a little bit more passive as my team is working A. I'm kind of like the lurk over here on, on uh, bomb set to B. So, and I'm just like, all right, I guess we're going to do this thing. And then most players I see as they're walking around the map, this is how most players would do this. They keep their crosshair close to the ground. For some reason, I don't know what it is. I think it's a Call of Duty thing, but I'm not sure. Like this. And they move around the corner like that. I guess we're going... Oh, they don't even look. They're just like, all right, I guess we're going this way. Now, if a player decided at this point to peek right around this corner, I have to go... Which takes a long time to do that. However, if I am just instinctively doing this and keeping my crosshair at the right spot... I'm just like, all right, I guess we're walking up. I guess we're walking up banana now. All I have to do is click or do a little micro correction or push a little bit out as he pushes out and click. It's so much easier to play this game that way. So as I'm pushing up, oh, one, one angle I should clear first. That right there. Now, if you aren't like the fastest shot in the West, um, it makes sense to kind of 
peek the peek the angle first to see if somebody's there, and then you can readjust. Normally, if they see you peek like that, they're gonna fall back, or they're gonna try to get the shot on you as you repeat, because they know you're gonna be repeeking. So I'm just doing this instinctively right now, and I'm clearing sandbags, and I just know my mind knows exactly where to look. So once that's clear, and I know nobody's there, oh, my, it, right away I flick to the next spot somebody might be. This time it's through the wall. Normally people aren't going to push you here very often. Sometimes they will, so it wouldn't make sense to be like, Ooh. but I just instinctively look directly at where this spot is. That's like the next spot people like to go. Right there's the next one, and then I like, Whoop, in case somebody's like in this whole area. I just hold that angle like that. And you just gotta do like a smooth movement as you're moving around. It doesn't have to be exact. It doesn't have to be like, all right, I gotta line up with this corner. Uh, like super hexagon level of difficulty. It just has to be like, all right. Uh, so we're kind of in the area. So that all we have to do is click the button if somebody is there. And that's the spools, right? Second part of spools. And you can notice like all of this stuff is stuff that's not instinctive. This is stuff you have to learn. As you play the game, and, and every single map, it's different. All of the different spots players could be is kind of where you're keeping your crosshair. So you have two, sort of have two two modes of crosshair placement in this. One of them is uh, knowing the spots and knowing like basically what people do. So people are usually there. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna look at that spot. And the other is just constantly keeping your crosshair where an enemy might peek out. So there's like a defensive, and then there's like an offensive for uh, peeking. And it makes sense. It all comes down to your game sense, like which mode are you in? Am I holding this angle and moving like this? Or do I think somebody's there? Maybe someone's been there on previous rounds. And I look at it like this. This also is why it's kind of difficult for people who are more experienced to play against new players. Because if I'm a noob, I don't know what's going on. I'm like, all right, I guess I'm playing a shooter. Pop, 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 pop. And I'm chilling here. I'm like, all right, he's not going to push me. Why would he push me, right? I'm just going to hold this angle right here. I'm going to put, and all of a sudden, boom, he's around the corner and I'm dead. And it's tough. It's tough, and that's an excuse. That's an excuse for dying to newbie noobs. Let's move on. This is a professional example of crosshair placement from Crims. This is from Katowice 2016. We're gonna be watching it in half speed here. A lot of stuff happens, so we wanna be able to look at his crosshair positioning. Notice he's keeping good crosshair positioning even through the smoke and even through the wall as he's behind it. These players know the maps so well that they know exactly where they're gonna be. He has his crosshair right now at head position where a player could be behind that box. And we notice as he peeks it, he's gonna look directly at where those players could be at white box, scans the entire room, all the way over to the vents, and because he had his crosshair directly on fur at the vents, it made for a very easy shot on that player. Now, he knows that there's a player at white box, that's the info he has, so he's going to put his crosshair directly on the top and peek it. He actually does a pre-shot on that as well. That's a situation where it makes sense to look directly through the wall at where you know exactly where that player is going to be. It all comes down to that game sense. Now he has to back out of this, and it looks like he has the bomb, and they will be going into bomb site B. Notice, a player, he thinks, could have pushed through A main, so he keeps his crosshair, even at this point of the game, where it's probably not going to happen where a player pushes him, keeps his crosshair directly on that player. Now moves over, look at that, just instinctively looks at checkers, even though his team has it cleared. Knows there's a player inside of the site, looks directly where that player was going to be, didn't even have to move the crosshair at all. Both of the kills that Krilms got in this round, he didn't have to move his crosshair at all. If you have good enough game sense, this game's really easy. Thank you very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer. For practicing crosshair position and developing this game sense, it does not make sense to do this in deathmatch. Deathmatch is for practicing your aim only. Players will not be in normal positions during deathmatch. They're not going to be holding the angles that they would during an actual game. So it will actually hurt you in terms of game sense to focus on these things during deathmatch. The best way to accrue experience is to actually play the game. It'll be rough at first, you'll get owned over and over again, but the best way to improve is to play against players who are better than you are. You will learn and you will challenge yourself and you will try harder. And it pays off in the end by you being a better player. Can I say be a better player? Or does Day9 trademark that or something? Seriously though, that's the best slogan ever. I wish I could steal that. Thank you folks very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.
Now look at this crosshair placement, perfectly aiming at the player through the box before he turns. Oh my 